Hello and welcome to the next episode of Banner Saga with me, Windslayer. It's been just like a couple hours since I looked at this, so I think we can get started here. Oop. Let's turn that volume down. And I did some training stuff. Um, that's how I lent, ended the last episode, so I think we're just going to leave this and hope that we don't get into any fights too soon. Maybe we'll get some clansmen. I'm going to rest when my morale is low so that we can fight our fights a little bit better. Tracks up ahead. Scout reports followed them away. Small camp. A few blades. Meat in mead. Maybe more. Kill them. Take everything. We need their supplies, I think. Kill them and take everything. Just when I thought you'd gone soft, Balka says her flat tone gives no hint of joy or anger. A dozen ravens take off and turn a couple hours bloody, but without injury. <laughs> Wouldn't mind seeing Iron fly. If only once more. Born in red, and it's uh, Gris. And I guess that's Hakon right there. And I guess that's that makes uh, this right here Mogan. That's cool. Got this thing with us, which is special. A couple little fighters, not much else. I like it. It's pretty cool. Alright, think the ghosts of this dead bird have forgiven you for what for that wing yet? Spar asks. The other ravens include Falka, look at their broken statue to you in shock. <laughs> what? Hey, the old man says, We're only here nearly forty years ago, same spot as now. Only a dozen of us left to the unkindness then. Better men by twice than all of you. There's rumbling, but the ravens keep listening. It's, it's funny. He's ancient, but the 40 years ago to uh, the berserker, what's his face, bear, bear, someone bowl or something. I don't remember exactly. He uh, it's probably just like a very short amount of time for him. We'd run a job for a man, fair or thinner, thinner, <laughs> more like. <laughs> he says, spitting at the memory. He set us up uh, to take the fall for some of his other deals gone bad. We got surrounded here and this bear of a brawl loses his mind, grabs a tree, a whole tree, and starts swinging. <laughs> Spar starts coughing, but recovers. Nearly killed us all, but old Eryx took a hint like a uh, hit like no other. And there you have it. The excited ravens start asking you questions, but Spar is all too happy to answer. S Let's study the bird shaped stone. Earrings. The god known as the winter bird stands proudly on an eternal perch of snow and ice. Stories of seasons past of hunting at Radomir across summer skies. 
of creating blizzards while flapping its wings to land in winter, cover the outstretched wings. While walking around the stone, your foot thumps on something hollow. You're, y you clear away some ice and find a wooden box, probably left as some token of, of faith to a dead god. Leaving anything behind for the dead is a waste, you say. Immediately praying open a box and pocketing the small item within. Hey, you got an item. Nice. Hey, Stoic Mom. Happy uh, you could stop by the stream today. Yeah, I decided to stream a little bit later. I did my one in the morning, took a break, and now I want to stream for the next couple hours. I have a good feeling somebody stopped by later on in the stream yesterday should, should come up. Uh, should be able to join us pretty soon. Let's see. Cold creeps under cloaks and forces of ravens to show huddled together as wind whips around you. Snow begins to blot out the worm scale mountains in the distance and you're first to call for an early camp. Rising from your sleep, you begin pa pacing occasionally, drumming your fingers on the top of the large cart. A motion in camp draws your attention. Walking towards it, you hear groans and see Falco's shield rising and falling erratically among some furs. Humans, you snort, but the shield w uh, flips away and reveals a dredge grunting, grunt staring up at you. Stepping back, you bump into another dredge. Looking around, the entire Raven's camp is a swarm of stone-armored bodies desperately reaching for you. Uh, that's not good. When your axe lashes out uh, through nothing, you realize you were dreaming. An unexpected sadness settles in you like you've let everyone down. Aww. I've forgotten this guy's name, but he's cool. A few of your Ravens are watching you smirking. But your growl makes them look away. You decide to walk the perimeter alone while everyone else is slowly awakens. <laughs> this guy's great. He's a total psycho, but he's he's just fun. Let's see. I didn't set my timer for today yet, or for this stream yet. So let's do that now. Just started, so I'm gonna say. Actually, let's just check that really quickly. It'll take me like what? A minute? Something like that? Alright. Back in chat now. So I can see what you said, if you said anything. What should I be. I should have probably shown you my heroes here. I'm curious if you like the, uh, the levels that I've got on some of these guys. I didn't use him very well in the first combat. He kind of went down pretty early. Might increase his strength or his armor. Armor break is pretty good too. If I could make him a four armor break, he could be a pretty good armor breaker along with Krumar. Volk is nice. Mogan's cool. I like Mogan. He's my favorite out of the two twins. As a twin myself, I think I identify a little bit more with Mogan, but that's just because he's like, I don't know. He's more outspoken. The other one's very quiet, more like my brother. Spar's okay. I don't know if I know how to use his character quite yet. Ollie's pretty cool. I like Ollie. I need to increase his strength. I need to get him a kill somehow. Yep, I'm a twin. I don't think I can do any more training. I did the last one recently. Oh, I didn't actually read what he said there. But these training ones, man, they're crazy on hard. It's good if you can complete them, right? Uh, what's this? Draw max three hits, insult bear leg, prevent Bulwark from taking a turn. Um, okay. I think you can insult from here, right? Yeah, I can do the fast three PEA and M some aliens. 
seems pretty easy if I can do it. strength unfortunately. That's not great. I kinda wanna rest him up because he's he's already weakened. Let's do this. is crazy on hard mode to me. Ollie is your favorite. If I just use his special thing right now, um, I feel like it's, his attacks are going to get deflected. So I'm going to try what I can to reduce his armor and uh, just insult him. So now I can hit a couple hits unless she just like completely destroys him. Okay, cool. He went for somebody else. This one's next. He's gonna destroy old Ollie, isn't he? Unless if I insult him then he moves up in the turn order. Let's bait him in to trying to attack this guy. Attack Spar. It's a better target for you. Alright, um, how would I do this? Let's just see what happens if I do that. I didn't prevent him from taking a turn, so, uh, does that mean complete failure? Because he got to take a turn. Oh, I have to I have to neutralize him before he takes a turn. That's that's pretty bad. Um I think I need to rest and maybe get Ollie a kill before I can complete that. Let's leave and try that again later. That's sad, because I want to get that now. Around you, you hear yelling. A harsh voice reaches your ears, followed by laughter of several others. You abruptly halt. Uh, your abrupt halt alerts Falka, who immediately signals the ravens to found out and draw their we and draw their weapons. Investigate. On the next rise, a group of ten haggard fighters and a few girls surrounded by half a dozen peasants and a broken wagon. A woman spots you and shouts, "Help us!" But a punch to the stomach drops her to the snow. The fighters turn, ready for a fight. Alright, so there's a few Vral and some peasants. No, some fighters are attacking some peasants. Charge. The, man, the man's confidence melts away and he calls all of his fighters to flee from your assault. You give chase for the time, but soon return to the wagon and the peasants. Thank you. The woman who was punched earlier says, I'm Sefa. I know. Uh, I know you don't want us around, but if you're heading towards Bindle, we'll follow your path. Fine, but your food is ours. Keep your food in your distance. Fine, but your food's ours. Payment for saving us, you say? The woman nods her understanding, but to your surprise, the wagon is nearly empty. We'll keep our distance, Sefa says, but will be behind you. You grunt and walk off. Okay, well, did we get any clansmen? Are they fighters? I didn't want them to keep their distance. I wanted them to join us as like clans people. A couple of raven scout, uh, scouts take off to check out the cluster of tents ahead. Refugees from Ormstal, uh, Ormstalver? 
I don't know how to say that either. One of them say, upon returning, they got a sizable camp and seem disciplined. They know we're here, and the scout adds, no sense in trying to avoid them. You take the lead and approach the refugees. I'm role-playing, but I also want to survive in this climate, so clansmen are welcome. A hooded man with a red spear greets you. Back. My name's Back, and this is Lothan. You're Bolvik of the Ravens, and this is your wife. <laughs> You're confused as much by his question as by the fact that no one is with the man. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna tell him we all don't have wives. The man gets a distant look in his eye. That's too bad. A wife can make you twice the man you were on your own. <laughs> well, he's never been a man. I bear at times, but mostly a varl. <laughs> and I'm Folka. <laughs> nice to meet you, Folka. I'll get to my point. I'm leading this large group of trained fighters and tradesmen from Ormsdal, and we're looking for a new home. What, what's... We, what we've done, what it takes to survive out here, and uh, but there's they're starting to lose faith in me. You want us to reinforce your control? No, I want you to take over. Lead us someplace we can live. Lothan and I weren't meant for keeping others alive. What do we get in return? For one, we won't kill you. Back smiles, but there's no humor in his eyes. We'll share the food we've collected and fight alongside you should there be a need. He stops and uh, confers with his spear. Spoiling you, Lofin, is. Is the spear Lofin? I feel like the spear's Lofin. We'll even spread the word of how great the ravens are. I'll take you as far as Bindle. But kisses the metal of his spear and smiles. Oh, you, <laughs> you have my thanks. Oh, Lofin thanks you as well. Yeah, the spear is definitely Lofin. I don't think Lofin's a person. It's like the Walking Dead. That guy in the Walking Dead. We just got 80 fighters. That's pretty good. We could have fought them, but now they're on our side. The unyielding snowfall is proving too much for humans who now vainly attempt to follow your large footprints. In truth, the sky and your surroundings lack enough contrast to know where you're going, and is cold. Trees. <laughs> Over here, <laughs> Volka manages to say, motioning with her spear. The, spear. the foliage blocks some of the wind, but does nothing for visibility. With no other options, you burrow into the snow, cloaked in your bare fur. That sounds pretty comfortable. Darkness. Lightning. Lightning. Someone pulling in the energy. Painful. Berk, wake up, you damn bear. You're being robbed. You roar and shake off the foot of snow covering you. Some clear dream still vivid in your mind. Back uses his spear, lop into point east. This clansman you saved. They killed your guards and they're taking everything. Which clansman? Volka is by your side in seconds, followed by the spearman. You sprint along, along the snowy path of the stolen supplies, straight into an ambush by the bandits originally harassing the clansman. Sefa turns and smirks. Sefa, we trusted you. At first, I was like, we can't trust this crazy dude with the spear. What is this? Why are all my guys injured? Why am I forced to take an injured dudes? I didn't want to do this without resting first. At least we got Folka. Folka's okay. I didn't get the opportunity to upgrade here, which is quite disappointing.
I knew that. So we can't get into combat here. There's an ambush all around us. How should I move to uh, take out these archers and this dude and this dude? Probably go there for now. Ouch. Sefa, you jerk. Yeah, she's next, so I need to attack that. Let's go here and help this dude out for a turn or two. this one. Who should I try and attack? Maybe I'll go in here and attack this dude. Pig sticker. Oh, adjacent allies help with that, huh? I think I'm gonna pig sticker this one. Do you have to be right in next to them to use that? No, you can use it on diagonals. Okay, let's use pig sticker then on this lady. Come here, lady. Rank one. We don't have any adjacent allies, so we'll just do that. That's annoying. No ability. This guy's gonna go soon. Which means he'll probably kill this guy off if I don't move him. I think. Run this one back here and damage this this lady. See how that does. We can strip armor off him and keep him back for a turn or two. win this fight, which is not going to be good for us. her though. No, she's going before him. And she has enough to kill this archer right now. Alright, archer. You don't have much of a chance here, but you're going to have to take it. And she's going to kill you. Hey, hey. forward into some units like this one. I don't know how his his thing works. 
Should I be playing carefully here? Like maybe going there? Alright, if, if you're still here, Stoic Mom, let me know what you think I should do. I'm gonna give you like 10 seconds to respond. Because like I would assume you understand how the mechanics of this game work. They have one ranger here and one ranger there. You can take out their one ranger with what's his face here, right? We can armor and then one hit will we'll kill her. I'm not sure how this works. Is it just one attack? much lag. Like, uh, do you mean like there's 10 seconds between when I say things, or do you think I should maybe try that out? Is that any better? If not, I can play around with some options. at armor breaking. And this lady's probably gonna die, so I might armor break him and then bring Bulwark forward. This dude can get to that tile. It's at the end of the rotation after she moves again. Let's try this out. in the target I thought she would go for. I have a random unit here which I can bring over to actually target that one. Try and get a crit on him. He comes up a long time from now and he's gonna target him. Take him out of the picture I think. tear armor off of probably this guy right here. you
You think I'm doing great? Uh, we'll see. Which one should I tear armor off of? This one? I'm definitely going to attack one of them, but um, I'm wondering if you could call target Thrasher or Setha. Which one should I attack? Yeah, for, for me to read your comments, it seems like 30 seconds. That makes sense. You cannot play on hard. <laughs> you don't know that. You might be able to. What's up first, Sepha or this Thrasher? It's not even in the queue because he just went. Might unleash on her and see if we can get her dead. Okay. Or you do that. kill Sapha? Is the battle over if we kill her? Because if that's the case, I will kill her. And only her. get as much renown so I'd like to finish off these three targets. decisions or whatever. predictable though but at least I got this new companion instead of not being like too trustworthy or like you know what I mean I hope kill it dead I 
just make sure she dies. So she's still got 10 attack. He's got 12, and I can't really see his movement, but it doesn't look like he can get at her, so he's going to attack him and do like one point of damage. Could run her over here, but then she wouldn't have any way to attack. Bulwark's going to take one point of damage after he get attacks, and then he's going to try and uh, do something similar, I think. Which means this one's the next to it attack. Like, really. Ouch. Yeah, no, he's going to do a lot of damage to him, unless I'm able to really wreck him in the face. Which is unlikely here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Bloody flail, huh? He attacks next. Which means he'll probably kill Bulwark here. Let's just make sure we get this guy. Get some renown. Yep, kill Bulwark. And now. They're gonna go crazy on her. about the archer? You think uh, I should have focused on the archer? Did I lose my shield maiden? There's some weird like image by her. Well that was not good. We're gonna have to take some days off there and uh, we're gonna be low on supplies. Ow. You ungrateful brute. I left you with half foods. Seppa says, here's a small reminder to leave well enough alone. She fires an arrow that sinks in your thigh, but your anger kills the pain as bandits take off with a spy. I shouldn't have asked for supplies. Is that what she uh, was mad about? I right, took their supplies. There's like some like Robin Hood type characters. My heroes are awfully beat up. We did get some renown out of that fight at least. I didn't get to bring in my favorites. I was forced to use uh, this guy who's new, and that's okay. 
is a slaughterer. A pig sticker, huh? I think I will promote you. You seem like a unit that's worth investing in. I want Falca upgraded too. She's pretty useful. There's so many I want to upgrade. Krumir I think has enough in his stats that he doesn't need an upgrade. I do like that she can armor break from a distance. So I'm gonna have her keep doing that. I wonder what her second ability would be. Might increase this guy's linkage and armor. Mogan's one of my favorites. His other level ups for a while are going to go. Well, at least the next one's going to go towards willpower. Because I want Mogan to have more willpower. got a, an item for somebody who goes to level 6. I think that one's good for him. She's got an okay item. Logan does 2. Alright, well we got an item. That's okay. Pipe plant. That's pretty funny. Let's see. What do I want to do now? I want to go... So I, I stopped how I'm, I've been doing things recently um, because you said the stream was lagging and I wasn't sure if it was like it was hard to watch lagging or what was going on um, but now now that all these guys are injured I think I'm ready to uh, move on because we're at great morale and we need to kind of keep moving I think Stream is strong. Good. Happy to hear that. S with eight days of supplies, we gotta get on the move. We're almost at. Bi well, we are at Bindle. Okay, that's good. I'm afraid there's gonna be combat, though. <sighs> the miners of Bindle are a rough crowd. Not a bad place to recruit new blades. The old wonder fights his way up to you. Can't see a damn thing in this mess. Guess old earrings hasn't forgiven you yet after all. I kind of want to be mean. Shouldn't you have died already? Spark Grunt. Soon enough, I reckon. Of course, these old bones will be forming any mountain. Bramble's more like he squints into the distance. 
There's bound to be more people from Olmsdalar trying to find a new home in Bindle. Spar says, Credit towns haven't always been good for us. What's got you worried, old man? A bunch of ravens set loose upon a sluice guard. Scared men and women is what? Won't take much to have the guards after us if they let us in at all. He has a point, but there's little to be done about it. The idea of being around so many others in such a confined space makes you tense. You crave a long hunt and sleep in solitude. That must be what's his face with his little speared. Oh God, I didn't kill Bach. <laughs> you zoom in, the, the arrows can actually come from him. That's great. What a great attention to detail. Storm is worse than ever as you arrive at the walls of the mining town of Bindle. The gates are closed and you beat a fist against them. Open the feigned gates, you shout. <laughs> is that human gates? But like as an insult. <laughs> From the wall, two menders look down on you, then recede. Soon the gates open, enough for a half dozen well trained guards to greet you. Their one eyed captain points and says, Just you. Folk uh, steps to your side, not alone, she says. She comes with me. The captain takes a moment to assess the situation and nods. Before following him through the gates, you bark commands to other ravens to stay close and vigilant. I trust Valka. And from what I can tell, so does a uh, bulwark. <laughs> He's so angry looking. Inside the small gatehouse, there are two menders from the wall. A woman with a fancy spear and a cub of a man holding a staff. Oh, a little child, huh? Nichols. Valka Zephyr. Is it the Raven Banner? So it seems. But why here? Why now? Just passing through on our way to the Blue River. But this blasted storm caught, a, caught us. Plan to come back this way afterwards for more work. But now we need some food and a place to hole up. We brought some people with us. Do you need a, home, a new home? I'm sure it felt like the right thing to do, but we're already beyond our capacity here. Are you Bulverk? Bulverk Bloodaxe? Hold your tongue, Nichols. <laughs> what do you know of me, boy? I've heard all your tales. I can't believe your cold bear cloak is real. Is it true your axe handles are made from your own horns? The older man places a hand on the younger man's shoulder. Wow, I never knew I was traveling with such a legend. <laughs> you ignore her. <laughs> Are you in charge here? Where's the governor? The governor left for Arboring a while back with most of the fighters to settle a dispute. Mender's council sent me to bring the people of Bindle West as we have heard many, too many rumors of dredge. That's good. More than rumors. We were in Borsgard, saw Bellower. The immortal Sunder? How did you escape? Immortal was a joke. He's dead. <laughs> sure, sure. Nickel's eyes go wide in awe, but Zephyr looks pensive. What about the great rift that opened between Borsgard and Ormsdalar? We managed. Zephyr looks like she wants to press you for more information. Enough. 
Open the gates for my ravens. Mercenaries will only panic the people. With everyone from Orm's Dollar, it's all I can do to keep them from stampeding, st stampeding like wild ox. I feel like we would threaten to attack the walls. And then they'll let us in and our people won't be outside of the walls when the dreads show up. Yeah, let's turn to attack. Open the gates or they'll have reason to panic. The guards in the room draw their weapons and aim them at you. Bulwark Blood X. <laughs> Even your renowned strength would fail against walls protected by Valka and her apprentice. But we're in a job for a Valka. You snarl at Folka for saying too much. She shrugs in response. I'm not aware of another Valka being out in out this direction. Who has tasked you? Juno. Zephyr steps back at the name and studies your face for a moment. Nichols, you and the guards see what you can do outside the walls for the people. I'll see to it and make sure the ravens are comfortable. The young mender nods respectfully to, to Zephyr and grins at you, the folk and Folka, before leading the guards through the gate. And morale improved. I am inviting only the two of you to stay within our walls and enjoy a little bit of warmth and comfort. Separate us from the ravens? No. So we're not going to... We're not going to be separated from the... Then again, we might be able to get supplies if we go in here. I don't know if he, how he feels about his ravens. They're just soldiers. I want to see if there's a market here. My people need a market. Then welcome, and no one is going to try anything. There's no need for such mistrust. Maybe. But I shouldn't have to tell you about my job from your superior just to get an invitation. My superior, no, you must understand. You have no job. The Valka known as Juno is dead. Hmm. Is that the serpent? Yeah, Bulwark and Folka are pretty great. They're pretty awesome. I should have stayed on the outside with my people. I, if I knew it was going to cut away like this, I probably would have. But then again, how am I supposed to know? Maybe I'll get some benefit for being inside and talking to these menders and the people inside. They'll want to join us. We need some clansmen in that caravan. Oh, wow. Look at Ivan. He looks so old. The once energetic mender approaches, looking both worn and troubled. I'm not sure I thank you for the time to recover. I've never woven a spell that strong before. Are you sure you're ready to move on? You look... I know, I caught my reflection earlier. It's a bit more more mature look. He looks like Rook now. The mender grins and hints of his former youth signs through. Not everyone would, would have stopped for so long, especially with the ground rumbling like it was, like it has. Kind of want to be like, your floating bridge costs a lot of lives. But we took the right decisions. Do you know what's causing the ground to shake? Remember the serpent that appeared in Einhoff? It felt pretty similar. But why would it be here now? Do you think it's following us? Ivan pales a little, then shrugs. Anything is possible, so that's what you should prepare for. He shifts nervously for a moment before meeting your eyes. Have you given any more thought to my offer? I think some mending could really benefit you. You consider his offer. I think she can become more like her father like this, and that'll make her better in combat. But I feel like being a mender might actually unlock some pretty cool um, story options. And I don't think Rook gets that option. 
Stoic, you you're familiar with Banner Saga too, right? Does does Rook get the option uh, uh, to become a mender in his playthrough? I could probably Google that as quickly as it takes for you to respond. I feel like he can't, right? Each main character has a choice, so both Rook and um, Alette can become Menders. It kind of makes sense. It makes more sense to have a let be a mender in my mind, but I don't like the mend ability. I prefer to have her be a better hunter, get more range, that kind of stuff. The way I'm playing her is not really as a mender. I've been thinking of her as like a really cool like lady who has the capacity to love eagle but she also has the capacity to lead like she's she's very well balanced so i might i might improve her skills as a hunter but we might need to be a mender to save the world Sure, it might really help someday. That's, I think, a hint that this is better in short term, but this will be better in the long term, probably in Banner Saga 3. So I'm going to become a mender. I think so too. And you already know more than you think. I doubt it will take me long to teach you the basics, but you'll have to practice as we go. I'm placing some patterns on your boat. Trace them with your thumb at all times. Practice, memorize them. Understanding will occur later. So we're back to select and stuff. A scout runs up to you. There's a woman tied to a tree up ahead. Got four guards watching her. The strange news draws a good deal of attention from the caravan. The bound woman is ranting and spitting at the four gods when you arrive and ask what's going on here. This here is a witch plaguing our clan, making everybody really sick. But we caught her and brought her <laughs> way out here. The others nod. She's to be tied here for five days without food or water, then cut loose. Been three days so far. But she'll die on her own after that long with nothing to eat or drink, you say. Oh wow, that's pretty intense. Got some buzzing. Oh, it looks like um, it's about time for me to end the YouTube episode, so I gotta do that after this event, it looks like. Hmm. That's not on us, the guard responds, but if you want to set her free, it would be bigger fools than you to get in your way. Zira, any thoughts? Zira smiles and saunters towards the tied woman. She says over a quiet word uh, to the prisoner and looks over before returning. My suggestion? Burn her in the tree to the ground. <laughs> what? No. How do you know she's a witch? Everyone looks t at the woman who is grinning, a toothless grin. She catches at the tree bark and calls out the dead gods one by one. If that's not enough, the guard says, she was seen squeezing mistletoe berries into water troughs. I think I heard that makes you sink sick. The other guard bobs their head in agreement. That's not good.
I don't want a crazy person in here. They, they sent her out here for a reason. I don't like it. Uh, let's, let's have her join us. I want to see what happens. We're not getting near her, he says, and the four of them run off in different directions. You cut the woman free and she slumps to the ground weak. A few others help you get her into the cart and give her some water. She smiles at you once before falling asleep. Did we didn't get like a clansman or anything there, huh? Easy boy. A clansman shouts at a yox cart nearly topples to one side and tramped a uh, path of Eastway Road has steadily turned into cracked shambles. Looking ahead it only gets worse. Various chasms gape like open mouths. You glance back at Ivan, who looks at you and shakes his head. The entire caravan comes to a halt. Oh, whoops. I meant to uh, end the episode. I'll just do it here. Yeah. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, I've got links to my social media in the description below. I'll see you around for the next episode.